made it. Okay, we're in the initial stages of our executive contract. Things are getting exciting, but don't get too excited just yet. We have to get through the contingency timeframes first. The buyer will now secure their loan, have the inspections on the property, and review all of the reports and disclosures available. This typically takes anywhere between 5 and 15 days, depending on what was initially agreed upon in the contract. In some cases, when you're dealing with a very desirable home that has multiple offers, we can negotiate that there would be no contingencies, but this isn't quite as common as we would like. During the contingency time frame, the buyer can back out of the home if they're not happy with what they discover on any of the reports, the disclosures, or the inspections that they're having done. After reviewing these reports and having the inspections, this is typically when the buyer would be asking for repairs to be made or they could possibly be asking for credits for things that they found during the inspection. The buyer also has the option to back out of the home for any reason if they choose or if they request that the seller does not want to agree to. Also, for some reason, if they're not able to qualify for the loan or if the home does not appraise and we can't come up with a mutually agreed upon price regarding the appraisal, the buyer can also back out. You need to understand that if the home does not appraise for the contractual price, that the lender will only loan on the appraised value. And obviously, they take into consideration what the buyer is actually qualified for. Any additional money required would need to be made up from the buyer, or the seller would have to adjust the contractual purchase price. Again, unless you have counted out any of these contingencies, and they're not made a part of the original contract or the counteroffer, the buyer has the right to back out of the home. And as a seller, unfortunately, we can't retain their deposit. This is why it's essential to hire an agent like myself who knows how to properly vet buyers and their offer, who asks the right questions and has the right conversations with the other agent and the lender. The buyer's deposit is only at risk if they've officially removed their contingencies. So I always advise my clients not to start packing their bags or popping the bubbly until all contingencies have been removed. Also, be sure to get contingencies removed as soon as possible and stay within contractual timelines as much as you can. Once contingencies are removed, then you can get a little sigh of relief and have more assurance that the home sale is actually going to go through. Feel free to personally reach out to me or someone on my team at Homes by Hodges so we get more details about you, find out what your needs are, and then we'll know how to properly serve and advise you. Again, this is Lori Hodges, and we're making realty dreams a reality. Have a great day, friends.